just found out that the king is allergic to everything you planned for the first reboot. And the herald has announced their course running over, so a half an hour later the field please move. The failure is supposed to be roasting the chickens is off in the corner of flirting with the maids. And you've run out of port, but the neighboring farm has a horse that's willing to trade. Why well, the folk at the table don't know what the word of the goblet down and beg for more. Like a lion devouring a haunch of meat with a loud ferocious roar. Your vegetable chopper has sliced up a finger and has to be sent to the emergency room. And most of the chicken fell right on the floor, but you sweep it back up with a pan and broom. A couple of nobles just drank all the wine that you were intending to use for the sauce. And the dishwasher dropped some soap in the pan. That was my father. So this craving's a total loss. But, but the folk at the table room, no one heard him. The gobble let down and begged for more. Like a lion devouring a bunch of meat with a loud ferocious roar. Your decrepit dragon got a flat tire, so you show up about three hours late. And you're trying to figure how to make 12 portions when you've only got 11 plates. The squire who's molding the marzipan has fashioned it into a giant brick. So you garnish it up and serve it forth, then call it Moby Stick. <laughs> they will gobble down your dinner and declare that you're our winner. Be our feast credit September, they implore. And you say you be insane to ever do this job again. And you coast just like the raven, nevermore. But the next event behind you, angel sleeves tied back behind you with this marvelous new recipe for boar. And singing, thank God, but the folk at the table don't know, won't hurt them. They gobble it down and beg for more. Like a lion devouring a haunch of meat with a loud bird.